Welcome to the Travel Diaries. In this video we will explore Best Places of Sweden Full Detailed Video Nature of Sweden Foods of Sweden People of Sweden Beaches of Sweden Nightlife in Sweden Best Places to Visit Sweden Sweden is a beautiful country with a wide range of attractions for visitors to explore. Here are some of the best places to visit in Sweden. 1. Stockholm Stockholm, the capital city of Sweden, is a vibrant and culturally rich destination with a blend of historic charm and modern innovation. Here are some of the must-visit places and attractions in Stockholm. Gamla Stan, Old Town The historic heart of Stockholm, Gamla Stan is a picturesque neighborhood with cobblestone streets, colorful buildings, and medieval architecture. It's home to the Royal Palace, Stockholm Cathedral, and numerous charming shops, cafes, and restaurants. We made travel videos for you with very hard effort. We need your support, God bless you. Please like and share our video with your friends. And write a cute comment in comment section for us. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Vesa Museum This unique museum is dedicated to the Vesa, a 17th century warship that sank on its maiden voyage and was later salvaged. The well-preserved ship and its exhibits provide insights into Sweden's maritime history. Skansen the world's oldest open-air museum, Skansen showcases traditional Swedish architecture, culture, and wildlife. It's a great place to learn about Swedish history and enjoy beautiful views of the city. ABBA Museum A must-visit for music fans, the ABBA Museum celebrates the iconic Swedish pop group with interactive exhibits, memorabilia, and even a chance to sing and dance along with their hits. Jurgarden Island this island is a green oasis in the heart of the city and offers a variety of attractions, including Grona Lund Amusement Park, the Nordic Museum, and the ABBA Museum. It's also a great place for a leisurely stroll or picnic. Royal Palace The official residence of the Swedish royal family, the Royal Palace in Stockholm is an impressive architectural landmark. Visitors can explore parts of the palace, witness the changing of the guards, and enjoy the royal armory. Moderna Musi Stockholm's Modern Art Museum features an impressive collection of contemporary and modern art, including works by Picasso, Dali, and other renowned artists. Nobel Museum Learn about the history of the Nobel Prize and its laureates at this museum located in Gamla Stan. It's an inspiring place to explore the achievements of some of the world's most influential individuals. Drottningholm Palace This palace is the residence of the Swedish royal family and offers stunning architecture, beautiful gardens, and a historic theater. Photografiska For photography enthusiasts, Photografiska is a contemporary photography museum that hosts rotating exhibitions of both Swedish and international photographers. Södermal This hip and trendy district is known for its artistic flair, vintage shops, cafes, and vibrant nightlife. It's a great place to experience Stockholm's modern culture. Boat tours Stockholm is built on 14 islands and is surrounded by water, so taking a boat tour is a fantastic way to see the city from a different perspective and enjoy breathtaking views. 2. Malmö Malmö is a vibrant city located in the southernmost part of Sweden, just across the Orasund Strait from Copenhagen, Denmark. It offers a mix of modern architecture, cultural attractions, and a relaxed atmosphere. Here are some of the top things to do and places to visit in Malmö. Turning Torso one of Malmö's most iconic landmarks, the Turning Torso is a twisted skyscraper designed by architect Santiago Calatrava. It's the tallest building in Scandinavia and offers fantastic views of the city and the surrounding area. Malmö Castle, Malmö's Castle This historic castle dates back to the 16th century and now houses several museums, including the Malmö Art Museum and the Malmö Museum. The castle is surrounded by beautiful gardens and a moat. Urusund Bridge while not exactly in Malmö, the Öresund Bridge connects the city with Copenhagen and is an engineering marvel. You can take a train across the bridge, offering stunning views of the strait. Lilla Torg. This charming square in the heart of Malmö's old town is surrounded by colorful buildings, cafes, and restaurants. It's a great place to relax, people watch, and enjoy some Swedish cuisine. Malmö Modern Art Museum, Moderna Museet Malmö. This museum features a collection of modern and contemporary art, including works by Swedish and international artists. The museum is located in a former power station, adding to its unique ambience. Folkets Park This large park is a popular spot for locals and visitors alike. It offers green spaces, playgrounds, cafes, and hosts various events and concerts during the summer months. 
Rybersborg Stranden, Rybersborg Beach. Malmo Sandy Beach is a great place to relax and enjoy the sea during the warmer months. You can take a dip in the water or enjoy a walk along the waterfront. Malmo Live. This modern concert and conference center is known for its impressive architecture. It hosts a variety of events, including concerts, conferences, and cultural performances. St. Petri Church. This medieval church is one of the oldest buildings in Malmo. It features beautiful architecture and is a peaceful place to visit. Vostra Hamnen, Western Harbor. This area showcases modern urban planning and architecture, including sustainable and innovative buildings. It's a great place to take a stroll along the waterfront and appreciate contemporary design. Zankt Gertrude. This trendy neighborhood is known for its artistic scene, boutique shops, and eclectic restaurants. It's a great place to explore Malmo's hip and creative side. Malmo's blend of historical sites, modern architecture, and cultural offerings make it a unique destination with something for everyone. Additionally, its proximity to Copenhagen makes it a convenient stop for travelers exploring both Sweden and Denmark. 3. Kirana Kirana is a fascinating town located in the far north of Sweden, known for its unique geographical location, stunning natural phenomena, and opportunities for outdoor adventures. Here are some of the highlights and things to do in Kirana. Northern Lights Kirana is one of the best places in the world to witness the mesmerizing northern lights, Aurora Borealis. The natural phenomenon is most visible during the dark winter months, and there are various guided tours available for optimal viewing. Ice Hotel This iconic hotel is rebuilt each year using ice and snow from the nearby Torn River. The Ice Hotel offers the chance to stay in ice rooms, dine in ice restaurants, and enjoy ice art installations. It's a truly unique experience. Abisko National Park Located a short distance from Kirana, Abisko National Park is known for its pristine wilderness, hiking trails, and stunning landscapes. The Aurora Sky Station in the park provides excellent opportunities to see the northern lights. Kirana Church This wooden church is an important symbol of the town and features distinctive architecture. It's one of Sweden's largest wooden buildings and is often captured against the backdrop of the northern lights. Jukasjarvi this small village is home to the Ice Hotel and offers a glimpse into the traditional Sami way of life. You can learn about Sami culture, enjoy reindeer sledding, and experience the beauty of the Arctic landscape. Kirana Mine Kirana is known for its iron ore mining, and the Kirana Mine is one of the largest and most modern underground mines in the world. The mine offers guided tours that provide insights into the mining process and the town's history. Dog sledding and snowmobiling Kirana's winter landscape is perfect for adventurous activities like dog sledding and snowmobiling. You can explore the snowy wilderness and get a taste of Arctic travel. Midnight Sun In the summer months, Kirana experiences the midnight sun phenomenon, where the sun doesn't set for several weeks. This provides a unique opportunity for round-the-clock outdoor activities and exploration. Sami culture and reindeer herding Learn about the indigenous Sami people and their traditional way of life, including reindeer herding and their distinctive culture. There are tours and experiences that allow you to engage with Sami traditions. Kirana Snow Festival If you visit in January, you might be able to experience the Kirana Snow Festival, featuring snow sculptures, ice art, and various winter activities. Kirana's remote location and Arctic environment provide a once-in-a-lifetime experience for travelers seeking to witness the northern lights, explore unique accommodations, and immerse themselves in the wonders of the far north. 4. Uppsala Uppsala is a historic and picturesque city located to the north of Stockholm, Sweden. It is known for its rich cultural heritage, academic institutions, and beautiful architecture. Here are some of the top attractions and things to do in Uppsala. Uppsala Cathedral this iconic cathedral is one of the largest and most important churches in Sweden. It features impressive Gothic architecture, intricate details, and the tomb of Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus. Uppsala University Founded in 1477, Uppsala University is one of the oldest universities in Scandinavia. The Gustavianum, the university's main building, houses a museum with historical artifacts, including Gustav II Adolf's silver throne. Gustavianum Located within Uppsala University, Gustavianum is a historic building that houses the University Museum. It showcases a range of exhibitions, including artifacts from ancient Egypt, medieval manuscripts, and scientific instruments. Gamla Uppsala, Old Uppsala An ancient historical site with burial mounds and a medieval church, Gamla Uppsala holds great archaeological and historical significance. 
It was an important religious and political center in prehistoric times. Linnaeus Garden and Museum This garden and museum pay homage to the renowned Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus. The garden features plants from his time, arranged according to his classification system. Uppsala Botanical Garden As one of the oldest botanical gardens in the world, this lush and beautifully landscaped garden is home to a wide variety of plants, including a tropical greenhouse and a rose garden. Uppsala Castle This Renaissance-era castle is not open to the public, but its picturesque exterior and location on the banks of the Firas River make it a notable landmark. Upland Massif This museum showcases the history and culture of Upland, the historical province where Uppsala is located. It features exhibits on art, archaeology, and cultural heritage. Fireshoff Water Park A family-friendly destination, Fireshoff offers water slides, pools, and various water activities. It's a great place to unwind and have fun, especially for those visiting with children. City Center and Stora Torga Uppsala's city center, particularly the Stora Torga, main square, is a hub of activity with shops, cafes, and historic buildings. It's a great place to wander around and soak up the atmosphere. Carolina Red Aviva Library Uppsala University Library is the oldest and largest library in Sweden. It houses a vast collection of books, manuscripts, and historical documents, including the famous Silver Bible. Uppsala's blend of history, academia, and natural beauty makes it an intriguing and diverse destination for travelers interested in exploring Sweden's cultural heritage and intellectual legacy. 5. Gotland Gotland is a charming and historic Swedish island located in the Baltic Sea. It's known for its medieval architecture, picturesque landscapes, and unique cultural heritage. Here are some of the top attractions and things to do on the island of Gotland. Visby, the capital of Gotland. Visby is listed town with well-preserved medieval architecture, cobblestone streets, and charming buildings. The town wall, cathedral, and numerous ruins are must-see sites. Visby City Wall. This impressive medieval city wall encircles much of Visby and offers panoramic views of the town and the Baltic Sea. It's a great spot for a leisurely walk and historical exploration. Botniska Tradgarden, Botanical Garden. Located in Visby, this botanical garden showcases a wide variety of plants, both native and exotic. It's a peaceful place to relax and appreciate the natural beauty of the island. Gotland Museum. This museum provides insights into the history, culture, and archaeology of Gotland. It features artifacts from various eras, including the Viking Age and the Middle Ages. Medieval Week, Medeltidsvecken. If you visit in August, you might be lucky enough to experience the Medieval Week, a popular event where the town of Visby transforms into a medieval wonderland with reenactments, markets, and festivities. Faro. A smaller island located just north of Gotland, Faro is known for its unique rocky landscapes, beautiful beaches, and the iconic rocks, ancient limestone formations. The famous director Ingmar Bergman also had a strong connection to Faro. Lugarn. A seaside village with a long sandy beach, Lugarn is a popular summer destination for swimming, sunbathing, and outdoor activities. Bunge Museum This open-air museum offers a glimpse into Gotland's rural past. It features traditional buildings, exhibits on local history, and craft demonstrations. Stora Karlso A nature reserve and island located off the west coast of Gotland, Stora Karlso is known for its diverse bird life, beautiful scenery, and walking trails. Gotland's Churches Gotland is dotted with charming medieval churches, many of which feature distinctive architecture and unique decorations. Some notable churches to visit include Bunge Church and Lai Church. Cycling and Hiking Gotland's landscapes are ideal for outdoor activities like cycling and hiking. The island offers scenic trails through farmland, forests, and coastal areas. Art Galleries and Craft Shops Gotland has a vibrant arts and crafts scene, with many galleries and shops offering locally made products, including ceramics, textiles, and jewelry. Gotland's blend of historical significance, natural beauty, and cultural offerings makes it a unique and memorable destination for travelers seeking a mix of relaxation and exploration. 6. Swedish Lapland Swedish Lapland is a vast and magical region located in the northern part of Sweden, within the Arctic Circle. It's known for its stunning natural landscapes, unique cultural experiences, and the chance to witness the mesmerizing northern lights. Here are some of the top attractions and things to do in Swedish Lapland. Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis. Swedish Lapland is one of the best places on earth to witness the northern lights. The winter months, 
from September to March, offer the best chances to see this natural phenomenon lighting up the night sky. Ice Hotel in Jukasjarvi The famous Ice Hotel is located in Jukasjarvi and offers the opportunity to stay in ice and snow accommodations. In addition to the ice rooms, the hotel features stunning ice sculptures, a chapel, and an ice bar. Abisko National Park Known for its clear skies and optimal northern lights viewing conditions, Abisko National Park is also a great destination for hiking, skiing, and snowshoeing. The Aurora Sky Station in the park offers guided tours and Aurora photography. Kirana While already mentioned, Kirana is the gateway to Swedish Lapland and offers not only the northern lights but also unique experiences like the ice hotel, dog sledding, and visits to the ice hotel's art suites. Sami Culture Engage with the indigenous Sami culture by learning about their traditions, visiting reindeer herding communities, and trying Sami cuisine. Many tours offer insight into their unique way of life. Arctic Wildlife Swedish Lapland is home to a variety of Arctic wildlife, including reindeer, moose, and a chance to spot the elusive Arctic fox. Wildlife tours and safaris provide opportunities to observe these creatures in their natural habitats. Ice Fishing Experience ice fishing on frozen lakes, a traditional activity in the region. You might catch fish like Arctic char, perch, and trout. Snowmobile safaris. Explore the Arctic wilderness on snowmobiles, riding through snow-covered forests and across frozen lakes. Sauna and snow bathing. Experience the contrast of a warm sauna followed by a refreshing snow bath, a traditional Scandinavian practice known for its health benefits. Midnight sun. In the summer months, Swedish Lapland experiences the midnight sun, where the sun doesn't set for several weeks. It's a unique opportunity for round-the-clock outdoor activities and exploration. Rovaniemi While not in Swedish Lapland, it's in Finland, Rovaniemi is the official hometown of Santa Claus and offers year-round Christmas experiences, including visiting Santa's village. The combination of natural wonders, unique cultural experiences, and the chance to engage with the Arctic environment makes Swedish Lapland an unforgettable destination for those seeking adventure and a deeper connection with nature. 7. The High Coast The High Coast, Huga Kusten in Swedish, is a unique and beautiful area located along the eastern coast of Sweden. It is known for its dramatic landscapes, including rugged cliffs, serene forests, and the unique phenomenon of land uplift. Here are some of the top attractions and activities in the High Coast region. Skull Eskogen National Park This national park features a diverse range of landscapes, from dense forests to coastal cliffs. The Skullabergat Mountain offers hiking trails that provide breathtaking views of the surrounding area. High Coast Bridge The High Coast Bridge is an iconic structure that spans the Angerman River and offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape. It's one of the longest cable-stayed bridges in Europe. Olven Island Accessible by ferry, Olven is known for its idyllic fishing villages, traditional red fishing huts, and stunning coastline. It's a great place to explore, hike, and enjoy fresh seafood. Nordengra. This picturesque village is located in the heart of the high coast and offers charming coastal scenery and access to hiking trails. Rotside and Nature Reserve. This reserve features a mix of coastal landscapes, sandy beaches, and forests. It's a great place for birdwatching and picnicking. Nature Activities The high coast is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. You can enjoy activities like hiking, cycling, kayaking, and fishing. There are numerous well-marked trails and paths to explore. Hagakusen Brunn Visitor Center Learn about the fascinating geological processes that have shaped the high coast's unique landscape at the visitor center near the high coast bridge. Via Ferrata For those seeking an adrenaline rush, the High Coast offers a Via Ferrata climbing route on the Skullabergat Mountain. It provides an adventurous way to experience the stunning views. Hogbond and Lighthouse Accessible by boat, this historic lighthouse offers panoramic views of the archipelago and is a popular destination for photographers. Cultural Events The High Coast hosts various cultural events, festivals, and markets throughout the year, giving you a chance to experience local traditions and cuisine. Geological Sites, the high coast is due to its remarkable geological significance. The land uplift process here is one of the fastest in the world, and you can explore various sites that showcase this phenomenon. The high coast's unique combination of geological wonders, breathtaking landscapes, and outdoor activities make it a must-visit destination for nature enthusiasts and those interested in experiencing Sweden's natural beauty and heritage. 8. Erland. 
Erland is a picturesque Swedish island located in the Baltic Sea, known for its beautiful landscapes, historical sites, and unique cultural attractions. Here are some of the top things to do and places to visit on Erland. Borgen Castle. This historic castle is one of Erland's most iconic landmarks. It dates back to the 12th century and offers guided tours that take you through its rich history and architecture. Stora Alvare. A limestone plateau that is Stora Alvare is a unique and mesmerizing landscape with rare flora and fauna. It's a great place for hiking and exploring the island's natural beauty. Ikatorp Fortress. An ancient ringfort that has been reconstructed, Ikatorp Fortress offers insights into Erlon's history and Viking heritage. Visitors can explore the buildings, learn about daily life, and even participate in historical reenactments. Lang Jan, Tall John, Lighthouse. Located at the southern tip of Erland, this lighthouse offers fantastic views of the Baltic Sea and the island. You can climb to the top for panoramic vistas. Boda Sand. A popular beach area with long sandy shores, Boda Sand is great for sunbathing, swimming, and water sports. It's also close to the Boda Sand Nature Reserve, known for its dunes and varied flora. Erland's Zoo and Amusement Park. This family-friendly destination offers a mix of wildlife and entertainment. The zoo features Nordic animals, while the amusement park offers rides and activities for children. Ottenby Bird Observatory. A paradise for bird watchers, this observatory provides opportunities to see a wide variety of migratory and nesting birds. It's an important stop along the East Atlantic Flyway. Himmelsberga Open Air Museum. This museum showcases Erland's rural history with well-preserved traditional buildings, gardens, and exhibitions. It's a great place to learn about the island's culture. Art and Craft Studios Erland has a vibrant arts and crafts scene, with many studios offering locally made products such as ceramics, glassware, and textiles. Linnetrad Garden This botanical garden in Borgum is dedicated to the famous Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus. It features a range of plants, including those mentioned in his works. Cycling Erland is a fantastic place for cycling, with many scenic routes that take you through picturesque landscapes, charming villages, and historical sites. Whether you're interested in history, nature, or simply enjoying the island's tranquil beauty, Erland offers a wide range of attractions and activities that make it a wonderful destination for travelers. 9. The Archipelago The Swedish Archipelago is a stunning collection of islands and islets that stretches along the country's coastline, offering a diverse range of natural beauty, outdoor activities, and cultural experiences. Here are some of the highlights and things to do in the Swedish Archipelago. Stockholm Archipelago just outside the capital city, the Stockholm Archipelago consists of thousands of islands, each with its own unique charm. You can take boat tours, go island hopping, and explore quaint fishing villages. Vaxum Known as the capital of the archipelago, Vaxum is a picturesque town with a historic fortress, charming streets, and excellent opportunities for kayaking and sailing. Sandham One of the most well-known islands in the archipelago, Sandham is a popular destination for sailing, yachting, and enjoying outdoor activities. The island also has a lively summer scene. Fjaterholmarna. Easily accessible from Stockholm, Fjaterholmarna is a group of small islands known for their artisan workshops, craft stores, and restaurants serving traditional Swedish food. Grinda. This island is a great place for nature enthusiasts, offering hiking trails, swimming spots, and beautiful scenery. There's also a hostel and restaurant on the island. Golno. A quiet and peaceful island, Golno is perfect for a relaxing getaway. It's known for its beautiful beaches, hiking trails, and opportunities for swimming and fishing. Uto. Known for its mining history, Uto offers historical sites to explore along with opportunities for outdoor activities like hiking, cycling, and kayaking. Finham. This remote island is ideal for those seeking tranquility and natural beauty. It offers hiking trails, beaches, and a chance to truly disconnect. Island Hopping Many of the islands are connected by regular ferry services, making it easy to plan your own island hopping adventure and explore the different landscapes and atmospheres. Outdoor Activities The archipelago offers numerous outdoor activities such as kayaking, sailing, fishing, swimming, hiking, and even ice skating during the winter months. Cultural Experiences the archipelago is rich in cultural heritage, with small museums, galleries, and craft studios on various islands that provide insights into local traditions and artistry. Sauna Culture Embrace Swedish sauna culture by renting a traditional wood-fired sauna on certain islands. 
After a relaxing sauna session, you can cool off with a refreshing dip in the sea. Whether you're interested in exploring nature, indulging in cultural experiences, or simply enjoying the serene beauty of the sea, the Swedish archipelago offers a diverse and captivating destination that caters to a wide range of interests. 10. Gothenburg. Gothenburg, Uteborg in Swedish, is a vibrant and cosmopolitan city on the west coast of Sweden. Known for its friendly atmosphere, picturesque canals, and thriving cultural scene, Gothenburg offers a mix of attractions that cater to a variety of interests. Here are some of the top things to do and places to visit in Gothenburg. Leesburg Amusement Park. One of the largest amusement parks in Scandinavia. Leesburg offers a mix of thrilling rides, family attractions, and entertainment. It's particularly popular during the Christmas season when it hosts a festive market. Avenin. Gothenburg's main boulevard, Avenin, is lined with shops, cafes, restaurants, and cultural venues. It's a great place for a leisurely stroll and to soak in the city's atmosphere. Universium. This interactive science center and museum is a hit with visitors of all ages. It features exhibits on everything from space exploration to rainforest ecosystems. Aga District. This historic neighborhood is known for its cobblestone streets, charming wooden houses, and a wide range of cafes and boutiques. It's a great place for a relaxed stroll and some people watching. Slotskugan Park. A large urban park where you can enjoy nature, visit the city's zoo, Slotskugan Zoo, and relax by the ponds. It's a popular spot for picnics and outdoor activities. Gothenburg Archipelago. Just a short ferry ride from the city, the Gothenburg Archipelago offers beautiful islands, rocky shores, and opportunities for sailing, swimming, and enjoying the stunning coastal landscapes. Feskekorka, Fish Church. A unique indoor fish market housed in a building that resembles a Gothic church. It's a great place to sample fresh seafood and experience local culinary culture. Maritime. This maritime museum is located on a collection of historic ships in the Gothenburg Harbor. Visitors can explore submarines, steamships, and even a destroyer. Museum of Art, Konst Museum. The museum features an impressive collection of artwork from the 15th century to contemporary pieces. It includes works by renowned artists such as Rembrandt and Picasso. Hasselblad Center. For photography enthusiasts, this center focuses on contemporary photography and exhibitions that showcase the work of both Swedish and international photographers. Gothenburg Opera House. This modern architectural masterpiece is home to the Gothenburg Opera and hosts a variety of musical performances, operas, and ballets. Botanical Garden. The garden features a wide variety of plants and themed sections, making it a peaceful place to relax and explore. Gothenburg's blend of cultural attractions, natural beauty, and lively atmosphere makes it a dynamic city that offers something for everyone, whether you're interested in arts and culture, outdoor activities, or simply enjoying the local vibe. Nature of Sweden Sweden is a Scandinavian country located in Northern Europe. It is known for its stunning natural landscapes, rich cultural heritage, and high standard of living. Here are some key aspects of the nature of Sweden. Landscape diversity. Sweden boasts a diverse range of landscapes, including dense forests, vast lakes, rolling hills, rocky coastlines, and expansive archipelagos. The country's geography is shaped by the last ice age, resulting in a mix of pristine wilderness and cultivated land. Forests. Forests cover a significant portion of Sweden's land area, making it one of the most forested countries in Europe. Coniferous trees like pine and spruce dominate many areas, providing habitat for various wildlife species. Lakes and rivers. Sweden is home to numerous lakes and rivers, the most famous being Lake Vanern and Lake Vatter. The network of waterways supports diverse aquatic life and offers opportunities for fishing, boating, and other water-related activities. Archipelagos. Sweden's coastline is dotted with thousands of islands that make up several archipelagos, with the Stockholm Archipelago being the most well-known. These islands offer picturesque views, charming villages, and a unique maritime culture. Wildlife. Sweden's wildlife includes a range of animals such as moose, reindeer, brown bears, lynx, wolves, and various bird species. The country's protected areas and national parks help conserve these species and their habitats. Outdoor activities. The Swedish concept of Allemansreden or the right of public access allows people to explore and enjoy nature freely, even on private land, as long as they follow certain guidelines. This encourages outdoor activities like hiking, camping, and berry picking. Seasonal changes. Sweden experiences distinct seasons. 
Summers are relatively mild with long daylight hours, making it a popular time for outdoor activities. Winters are cold and snowy, providing opportunities for skiing, snowmobiling, and other winter sports. Northern Lights In the northernmost parts of Sweden, particularly in Lapland, the Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis, can be observed during the winter months. This natural light display is a result of solar particles interacting with the Earth's atmosphere. Environmental Consciousness Sweden is known for its strong commitment to environmental sustainability. The country has implemented various initiatives to reduce carbon emissions, increase renewable energy sources, and promote eco-friendly practices. National Parks Sweden has several national parks that showcase the country's diverse ecosystems. These parks offer opportunities for nature enthusiasts to explore pristine landscapes, observe wildlife, and appreciate the natural beauty of Sweden. Overall, Sweden's nature plays a vital role in its culture, identity, and lifestyle, attracting both locals and tourists who appreciate its serene beauty and outdoor opportunities. People of Sweden The people of Sweden, also known as Swedes, are the inhabitants of the Scandinavian country of Sweden. Here are some key characteristics and aspects of the people of Sweden. Culture and Values Swedes are known for their egalitarian values, social welfare systems, and strong emphasis on individual rights and personal freedom. They value work-life balance and often prioritize spending time with family and friends. Language The official language of Sweden is Swedish, Svenska, which is a North Germanic language. English is also widely spoken and taught as a second language in schools, making communication with foreigners relatively easy. Education Sweden places a high value on education, with a strong emphasis on providing free and high-quality education at all levels. The literacy rate is close to 100%, and the country is home to prestigious universities and research institutions. Innovation and Design Swedes are known for their innovation and design prowess. They have contributed significantly to various industries, including technology, fashion, furniture design, and automotive engineering. Cuisine Traditional Swedish cuisine is often influenced by the country's natural resources. Staples include fish, especially herring, potatoes, bread, and dairy products. Smorgasbord is a well-known Swedish buffet-style meal that features a variety of dishes. Outdoor Lifestyle The Swedish concept of free luftsleep emphasizes spending time outdoors and connecting with nature. This concept is deeply ingrained in Swedish culture, and activities like hiking, camping, and skiing are popular year-round. Healthcare and Social Welfare Sweden has a comprehensive healthcare system that provides medical services to all residents. The country also offers a strong social welfare system, including paid parental leave, unemployment benefits, and pensions. Fika Fika is a Swedish cultural tradition of taking a break to enjoy coffee and a pastry, often in the company of others. It's a social ritual that encourages relaxation and interaction. Gender Equality Sweden is known for its commitment to gender equality. It was one of the first countries to grant women the right to vote, and today, efforts are made to ensure equal opportunities and rights for all genders. Diverse Society While Sweden has a predominantly ethnic Swedish population, it is becoming increasingly diverse due to immigration. Cities like Stockholm, Gothenburg, and Malmö are multicultural hubs with a mix of cultures and ethnicities. Holidays and Traditions Swedes celebrate a range of holidays, including Midsummer's Day, Christmas, and Easter. Midsummer's Day is one of the most significant celebrations, involving traditional dances, singing, and feasting. Cultural Icons Sweden has produced several prominent cultural figures, including authors like Astrid Lindgren and Steve Larsson, musicians like ABBA and Avicii, and actors like Greta Garbo and Max von Sydow. Overall, the people of Sweden are known for their progressive values, strong work ethic, appreciation for nature, and contributions to various fields on the global stage. Foods of Sweden Swedish cuisine is influenced by the country's natural resources and seasons. Traditional Swedish dishes often utilize ingredients like fish, potatoes, game meats, berries, and dairy products. Here are some iconic foods of Sweden. Swedish meatballs, schutbollar. Perhaps the most famous Swedish dish, meatballs are made from a mixture of ground meat, usually a combination of beef and pork, mixed with breadcrumbs, onions, and spices. They are typically served with creamy gravy, lingonberry sauce, and potatoes. Herring, sill. Herring is a staple in Swedish cuisine, often served pickled or fermented. Varieties include sour herring and gravlax, cured salmon. 
Herring is frequently enjoyed during traditional celebrations and on special occasions. Smorgasbord A smorgasbord is a buffet-style meal featuring a variety of dishes. It often includes items like various types of herring, cured and smoked fish, cold cuts, cheeses, bread, and salads. It's a key feature of Swedish festive occasions. Gravidlax Gravidlax is a type of cured salmon that's marinated with a mixture of salt, sugar, dill, and sometimes other spices. It's usually served thinly sliced and is a popular appetizer. Ragmunk Ragmunk is a type of potato pancake made from grated potatoes, flour, and milk. It's often served with lingonberry sauce and crispy fried pork, flask, or bacon. Nackabrit Nackabrit is a type of crisp bread that's a dietary staple in Sweden. It's made from rye flour and water and is enjoyed with various toppings, such as cheese, butter, or cold cuts. Surströmming This is fermented herring that has a pungent smell and distinct flavor. It's typically enjoyed with flatbread, potatoes, onions, and sour cream. Surströmming is an acquired taste and is often eaten during specific events. Princess Tarta Princess Tarta, or Princess Cake, is a traditional Swedish dessert. It consists of layers of sponge cake, whipped cream, raspberry jam, and a green marzipan coating. It's commonly decorated with a pink rose. Lingonberries Lingonberries are small, red berries that grow abundantly in Sweden. They are used to make lingonberry sauce, which accompanies many traditional dishes and adds a tart flavor. Kalops Kalops is a hearty stew made with beef, onions, and root vegetables. It's flavored with spices like allspice and bay leaves and is often served with potatoes or rice. Canel bolar Canel bolar are cinnamon rolls, a popular pastry in Sweden. They are often enjoyed with coffee as part of the Swedish fika tradition. Jansen's frestelsa Jansen's frestelsa, or Jansen's temptation, is a casserole dish made with potatoes, onions, cream, and anchovies. It's a common dish during Christmas and other festive occasions. These are just a few examples of the many delicious dishes that make up Swedish cuisine. The use of locally sourced ingredients and traditional recipes reflects the country's rich culinary heritage. Beaches of Sweden Sweden is known for its stunning natural landscapes, but its coastline offers some beautiful beaches as well. The country's extensive coastline is dotted with sandy shores, rocky coves, and picturesque archipelagos. Here are a few notable beaches in Sweden. Rybersborg Beach, Ribbon, Malmö. Located in the city of Malmö in southern Sweden, Rybersborg Beach is a popular urban beach known for its long sandy stretch and shallow waters. It offers a relaxing atmosphere, and visitors often come here to swim, sunbathe, and enjoy beachside cafes. Skria Beach, Falkenberg. Skria Beach, situated in the coastal town of Falkenberg, features a long sandy beach with dunes and clear waters. It's a family-friendly destination with amenities like playgrounds, restaurants, and ice cream shops. Tofta Beach, Gotland Tofta Beach is found on the island of Gotland in the Baltic Sea. With its fine white sand and shallow waters, it's a popular spot for sunbathing, swimming, and beach sports. The surrounding area also has campsites and accommodations. Sudersand Beach, Faro Faro is another island in the Baltic Sea, known for its unique landscapes. Suter Sand Beach on Faro is characterized by its expansive sandy shore and crystal clear waters. It's a peaceful place for relaxation and taking in the natural beauty. Hylosand Beach, Halmstad. Hylosand Beach is one of Sweden's most famous beaches, located near the town of Halmstad on the west coast. This long sandy beach is surrounded by sand dunes and pine forests and is a popular destination for both locals and tourists. Sandskagens Beach, Usta. Sandskagens Beach is located in the town of Usta in southern Sweden. It offers a mix of sandy areas and rocky sections, making it a great place for exploring and enjoying both the beach and the surrounding nature. Langholmen Beach, Stockholm Langholmen is a central island in Stockholm known for its urban beach. It's a popular spot for locals to swim and sunbathe during the summer months, offering a convenient way to enjoy the water in the heart of the city. Skinora Beach, Gothenburg Skinora Beach is situated in Gothenburg and is known for its sandy shores and clear waters. It's a great place for swimming and picnicking, and the surrounding area offers walking trails and parks. Veramen Beach, Mutala Veramen Beach is located by Lake Vatter, near the town of Mutala. It's one of Sweden's largest freshwater beaches, offering sandy shores and recreational activities such as beach volleyball and water sports. Langholmsbadet Beach, Norrköping
Langholmsbadet Beach is located in Norrköping and features a sandy beach along the Matala River. It's a popular spot for swimming, sunbathing, and enjoying the riverside views. These beaches showcase the diversity of Sweden's coastline and provide opportunities for relaxation, recreation, and enjoying the natural beauty of the country's waterfront areas. Nightlife in Sweden Sweden offers a vibrant and diverse nightlife scene that caters to a wide range of tastes and preferences. The nightlife varies from city to city, with larger cities like Stockholm, Gothenburg, and Malmö having more extensive options. Here's an overview of the nightlife in Sweden. Nightclubs and bars Major cities in Sweden have a thriving nightclub and bar scene. Stockholm's Stureplan area is known for its upscale nightclubs, while Södermalm offers a more alternative and trendy vibe. Gothenburg's Avenue Boulevard and Malmö's Lilla Torg are popular areas for bars and clubs as well. Music Venues and Concerts Sweden has a strong music culture, and you can find a variety of music venues hosting live performances, from rock and pop to electronic and indie. Venues like De Baser Medis in Stockholm and Pustjervik in Gothenburg often feature both local and international artists. Electronic Music Sweden has had a significant impact on electronic music. The country is known for its electronic music festivals like Summer Burst and Into the Valley, where renowned DJs and electronic artists perform. Casinos and Gaming If you're interested in gaming and gambling, you can find casinos in cities like Stockholm, Gothenburg, and Malmö. Casino Cosmopol is a chain of state-owned casinos that offers various gaming options. Cultural Events Many cities host cultural events and performances during the evening. You can enjoy theater performances, opera, ballet, and other cultural experiences at venues like the Royal Swedish Opera in Stockholm. Late Night Eateries After a night of partying, you can indulge in late night eating at various restaurants and food trucks. Donor kebabs, street food, and late night pizza joints are popular choices. Fika and cafes. Sweden's Fika culture extends to the evening as well. Many cafes and coffee shops stay open late, offering a cozy and relaxed atmosphere for hanging out with friends or unwinding after work. Summer festivals. In the summer, Sweden comes alive with numerous music festivals, cultural events, and outdoor parties. Festivals like Way Out West in Gothenburg and Stockholm Music and Arts offer a mix of music, art, and entertainment. Alternative and underground scene. For those interested in alternative and underground nightlife, Sweden cities often have venues that cater to niche music genres and subcultures. Saunas and spas. In some cities, like Stockholm and Gothenburg, you can find late-night saunas and spas that offer a relaxing and rejuvenating experience after a night out. It's worth noting that Sweden's nightlife scene can vary in intensity and opening hours, especially during weekdays. Many places observe a more relaxed atmosphere on weekdays, reserving the livelier nightlife for weekends. Additionally, due to local regulations and cultural norms, the legal drinking age in Sweden is 18 years old. Remember that the best places to visit in Sweden can vary depending on your interests and the time of year you plan to visit. Sweden offers diverse experiences, from urban exploration to outdoor adventures, making it a great destination for a wide range of travelers. We made travel videos for you with very hard effort. We need your support, God bless you. Please like and share our video with your friends and write a cute comments for us. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks again with Core of Heart. Have a nice day. God bless you.